Dell uh, unveil their zero trust strategy, maybe a good place to start is what is zero trust? Yeah, I'm going mean, to like a negative thing. I mean, trust is like a good thing, right? Is but, it? I don't know. I'm a cynic. I don't trust. Anybody. <laughs> well, in security, zero trust is definitely the way to go. Or yeah, trust but verify. And I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna butcher this and let Will come in and, and correct me. But zero trust effectively <laughs> is this: um, I implement security, and I trust nobody. I trust no application. I trust no device. I trust nothing. I leave nothing. Uh, I, I leave nothing open for interpretation. So from the moment I order a server or a PC or a device um, to the to deploying it to provisioning it to running it. Uh, I need to have control over that thing and assure I can control who can access it, what can access it, uh, what comes in, what goes out, and what sits on it. Um, that effectively is zero trust. And then you have to build that from server to OS to or to firmware to OS to application stack to data. And you have to ensure that there is zero air gap between any of those layers. And so you know, different companies take different approaches. HPE's done a great job with, with this. Dell, I, I really uh, like what Dell is doing. They're saying, look, this is bigger than Dell. This is bigger than a Palo Alto. This is bigger than a, a Cisco or, um, or a VMware or some, you know, a lot of these, these big players out there. This is a community effort. So we're going to build out a program that looks at security from a, going back to NIST, from a how do you plan, how do you implement, how do you test, how do you assure, and how do you respond um, perspective. And we're gonna build a community to help build out that entire um, zero trust architecture from, again, from uh, supply chain all the way out to application deployment and, uh, and provisioning um, or application deployment. So, so really cool story. They're pulling in the right players. Uh, it's about 30 companies right now. I expect that's going to grow over time. Um, what I was mostly encouraged by was, look, any company can go out and work with other technology companies and say, look at this great thing we're doing. Some of the stuff I found really interesting is how they're allowing customers to go in and validate and test and, and harden their security postures. They're doing it through opening up labs so companies can have like their own sandboxes yeah. to go in and play around. I love what I, I, I really appreciate what they're doing here. I think this is a, a real practical and pragmatic value to customers that are struggling with, you know, assuring zero trust is recognized from the lowest levels to the highest. So I'm done butchering. I'll let Will take it from there. <laughs> no, Matt, that's great. You know, I'll just add to your definition that zero trust, any sort of true zero trust solution authenticates a user to an application not flatly to a network. And, and that's where VPNs have failed in the past and why you know, we saw during the pandemic, uh, they just didn't scale because it's, you know, VPNs were invented before the cloud was, was born, right? So I'll, I'll just add that point. And, and to your point, I think this ecosystem approach plays really well to Dell's strengths. I mean, Dell is not necessarily R&D house, right? So they, they tend, and they, they do this with their telecom business unit as well. They tend to focus on building an ecosystem. Um, I like the approach. There's some interesting partners that are involved with Dell in this initiative, Juniper Networks. Uh, Juniper Networks historically has been very strong in service providers, so that, that does make a lot of sense, but Juniper is pushing into the enterprise as well. So that's interesting. It's interesting to see Palo Alto Networks working uh, with Dell as well. But um, what, what, what I sort of read into the announcement as well is that Dell is, is basically gonna go deploy a private security cloud. That's their intention with this ecosystem. And that's not dissimilar to what I was mentioning um, with Cisco's strategy as well. And I think the cloud approach is, is, is mission critical because that pulls in all the necessary context um, so that you can, you can threat hunt, you, you, can, you can thwart you know, um, hackers and, and whatnot. So, so at a high level, I think it, it plays really, really well in Dell's strengths. I apologize if this was uh, stated before, but Dell's zero trust strategy is based on the DOD zero trust strategy, Department right. of Defense. Yep. Uh, and you know, the partners that they've uh, that they've that they pulled in are Corsha, Gigamon, Intel, Juniper, MySci, Nomad, NVIDIA, Palo Alto Networks, VMware, and others. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then 
they ended their plug uh, saying, check out more at Dell Tech World 2023. <laughs> I'll be there. I'll be my third straight week on the road. Yay. Yeah, I, I will mention, Pat, you mentioned Gigamon, and I spent some time with Gigamon recently. Michael Dickman is their CTO, and he's a former um, Aruba executive. And uh, um, stay tuned, because I think Gigamon has some great capabilities. Um, there are a lot of observability companies out there, but what Gigamon does, you know, uh, from a granular level is quite compelling. So I just, I sort of mentioned, you know, kind of keep keep your ears tuned and your eyes open, yeah. because I think you're going to hear more from Gigamon in the not-too-distant future. 